There you go. Gosh, we nearly a. God, bloody hell. I shall go to sick. Yes, I do. Come in. Oh fuck. Alright, Albert, I'm coming, I'm coming. Draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, you tell us what happened? I don't know, attacked. Where's Happy? Super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. Right. There was there was a guy there, but there was some kind of some kind of animal. The hell? What fucking kind of animal does that? Yeah, yeah. Is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because. Teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full size bear with a crush on There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, oh fuck. Look at that. Oh, oh shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Uh fuck it, there's a point for sure. Uh, so, uh, sorry. Uh, You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? You're literally an idiot. Hey, I'm just trying to help. He just needs a doctor. Proper medical attention. And a shrink, too, probably. Didn't appreciate that. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Okay. I hope that worked. <laughs> Okay. You were saying... Shall we look? 
Are you stupid? Let's get out of here. Oh, but what about Jacob and Emma? What if they come back and can't find us? Let's leave a note. They'll catch up with us if they want to. Right now we gotta make sure Nick and Abby are okay. Nick's legs all sorts of fucked up. I don't know how we're gonna get him all the way back. I got it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Shot him in the face. Okay, so we didn't want to save him. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. <laughs> well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure. I think with this, I, I can get to kill her off as well because I don't think strange, she's needed tiny little island to get this trophy. Nothing to do but show you guys around. So there's so a, a tree house over there. Which I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't. But even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explorer bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. It's not an island. It just means the contrast brighter on this. I can see a lot more. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little. I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all bluff about it, you know? <sighs> oh, love. The metaphor in the narrative, if I mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Alright. Enough for a blabbering. Let's get up the stairs. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Yeah, yeah, gosh, she's a rock burn ass, isn't she?
Did you not run any quicker? It's a full moon. Where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. Yeah, I wonder what happens if I go over here. Did you, can we look on this bit right, right now? No. Can't like jump off. Right. Enough about this, we just want to get killed off. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And now look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? Uh, I'll Nothing. take spooky trap door for 100. Open trap door. <laughs> Bye bye. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an encore. She called it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the chapter. I think it is. Oh no, it's the stuff we did it. Oh yeah, I remember now. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, no. no sorry, sorry, I'm just. I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Oh, 
man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some oh, oh, canola. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now nah, they need the tarot cards. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get them cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are going to find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yep. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're going to be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is going to cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. That's good news. Yeah. We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? Who? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, but like what? Should I ask for like police, ambulance? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Cops with guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say 911. What's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help. My friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there, or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now and we really need backup yeah yeah that's that's good okay what's wrong dead well that's weird Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. So this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's... it's Probably the weather. 
What weather, Ryan? Maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Kaylin that we're going to the radio hub. They're probably freaked. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. We should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think Look, she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge. We're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but... That's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Yeah, it's just a big out. All right. You're right. Hey, you still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. That's what she said. <laughs> Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. <laughs> My ass has got quite the bank account. And I interrupted something? So weird. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Oh, good. I didn't run to see chat, you. Good to see you. Oh. A time again, is it? Why do you come? Why do you come if you've not found my cards? There are truths in the cards. Truths that can only be revealed if you bring them to me. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. <laughs> <laughs>